is up you guys welcome back to another one gold pony here again for another first look this is the new 2024 shelby super snake 800 plus horsepower let's take a look we have our friends from shelby here and gary is the president still king you've been are you president or you've been elevated to king at this point he's he's the president at minimum of shelby and he has this 2024 Shelby Super Snake here. He's going to tell you all about it, but before he does that, I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. Gary, how you doing? I'm doing good. Very good, very good. Now, as your daughter calls these things car parties, and I don't believe she's with us this weekend, but are you enjoying the car party at Carlisle? You know, I always enjoy the car party at Carlisle because it's a big family reunion. And you get to see the cool cars that your group brings to the show, but also the cool cars that everybody brings to the show. You ventured out, and I'm sure your eye gravitates towards the Shelbys, but is there something non-Shelby that you've seen that you really liked? I thought, I saw a lot of stuff I really liked. I mean, with 3,500 plus cars, probably 3,600, um, where do you start, right? I mean, there's really, a lot of wonderful cars here that are not Shelby's as well. That's true. There there are a ton, and you think about it, yes, there are a lot of Mustangs, there's no way around it, but there's trucks, there's Broncos, there's Mercours, there's Fiesta, and Focus, and Edsel, and Galaxy, and, and the list just goes on and on. If Ford made it, or is responsible for it, it is here this weekend. You gotta love the eclectic mix. Oh, I really do, and you know, I like the Ford GTs, I like some of these trucks, huh? They're real cool, and, and Shelby's had their hand in a couple of trucks, but we're not here to talk about Shelby trucks today, we're here to talk about this Super Snake, so the floor is yours, Gary, let's tell us all about this beautiful ride on the stage. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that just in a second, though, but once again, you know, for Mike, Lance, Bill, everybody with uh, Carlisle Events, 50 years, guys. Really a remarkable showing, a record showing this year from all the guys at Ford and all your Ford-related vehicles. Um, the other thing that's happening right now, too, is, you know, they had this uh, contest for clubs. And the last I checked at the Severly Luncheon, I think Mike told us that uh, Team Shelby right now is ahead of everybody else. So once again, Shelby is number one. So with that being said, let's talk about the uh, 24 Super Snake a little bit. Um, that really dates back to 1967 when the GT500 came out, and that was the first year for the GT500, and it had a 428 with two four barrels on it, but they wanted to do some tire testing, real high speed stuff, a lot of RPM, so they put a 427 in one because of rev tire, and they used it more, more of a race bred engine, right? So that became what it was termed the Super Snake. There was one of those that was a Mustang, and it was that car, and we have it in the Shelby Museum right now in Las Vegas. So that was really the inspiration for the future. 40 years later, we came out with the next one, right? So in 07, the GT500 came back out, and it was an amazing car in 07 because it had 500 horsepower. And believe it or not, you know, that many years ago, that was a ton of power. Still is today, right? And people looked at us at Shelby, they said, well, what are you gonna do with that? Okay, so we're car people running a car company. We did wheels and tires and brakes and suspension and a custom hood and it kind of harkened back to the 68 uh, GT500 KRs and stuff like that, but it fit on a modern car. So that car was an amazing car. Um, you know, at the time it ran, uh, if you look at Mustangs and Fast Forwards, it was on the cover. It ran a 1087 and 134 right out of the box, emissions legal pump gas, right? So fast forward, we've had a lot of different super snakes over the years, and it continues to evolve. And this one is the next one, right? But when we looked at this car from the beginning, an S650, the latest generation Mustang, we looked at it and said, what would you do with that, right? We said, man, this is really cool because there's a lot we wanted to do. So not only did we design, you know, if you look at this car from the front three-quarter view, you guys see 
like the first thing that catches my eye is this hood, right? It's an all carbon fiber hood designed by Shelby. But with our relationship with Ford Motor Company, Aaron Shelby and I go to Ford and you know, on a quarterly basis, I'm there you know, a couple times a month. But the Ford guys have been really good with us. And we said, okay, wind tunnel, you know, what do you guys know about this car? And they said, well, if it was us, we would put more venting here, we would put more venting here, and we'd put more venting there. We did those things. We made it out of carbon fiber, and we designed this design, which is a unique Shelby design. But we knew at the time where to put that because of our help with uh, the Ford engineers. And then we looked at the car and we said, all right, front three quarter, what do you see? Okay, not only does that hood look bad, but it's also very functional. If you look at a lot of cars out there, there's a lot of stickers and scoops and things like that. This car and all that we did is very functional and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Um, so that hood, very functional, very unique appearance and so forth. The front grille is clearly the Shelby modern design. If you look at our cars, our trucks, that's kind of a signature look. So regardless of all the different tuning Mustangs out there, that is a Shelby. And people see it, they see that stripe, that's a Shelby. But if you look at this front fascia, the whole front fascia is also designed by Shelby American. And it's designed so that you can have coolers in it and you can have a lot of airflow. And you got twin air intakes, even in the front grille, you see right here, that help feed that supercharged engine, right? So yeah, I know, I know Rob said a few things about the supercharger earlier, and we're gonna look at that under the hood here in just a minute. But uh, if you look, we've also got our own front splitter, and everything that you see here is designed to add extra downforce to the car, right? So this airflow coming out this way extracts heat, and it keeps from having lift because air can come up and out of the car, so you don't have the lift. So it keeps the front end down. We'll talk about the rear end here in just a minute, but that's really where it starts. Then if you go around and you look a little bit further, you see these front fenders. These front fenders are also totally designed by Shelby American in our factory by a team of people. Vince LaViolette is our chief designer. He really gets a lot of the credit for this. Uh, but these are also made out of carbon fiber. Lightweight, very functional. Air comes in through here, gives you a mean bad look. It also exits the fender here. Okay, once again, very functional. It also helps that it hides the tires and the wheels, right? It gives you nice coverage over the tires and wheels. The suspension gives you a nice aggressive look with the different springs and, and so forth that we've done with the suspension. And let's talk about the tires and wheels. So we got a Michelin um, 4S tire, good for basically all kinds of driving on road and track and everything. Um, but the wheels, those are also Shelby unique wheels. They're made of magnesium. Once again, very functional. But if you look at those wheels that are magnesium, less weight means also rotational mass okay and unsprung weight so those things in addition to weight itself are also very important as we look at the design of this car we've got a new snake logo just slightly if you take a look at it just little easter eggs in this car is pretty cool it gives you a really mean look with bigger teeth in the snake right anybody want a snake with bigger teeth you guys awake out there hey just checking just checking, all right, all right. So we're good. Um, then you see some side rockers. Again, totally unique Shelby part. Um, and the side rockers are also very functional. Okay, as we move toward the back of the car, um, and we, we'll get in here in just a second and talk about the interior. But if we look at the back of the car too, you also see, just like the front, you see a different disc brake rotor. So, the calipers are the Brembo's that we all like, but this has a different rotor that uh, we partner with uh, Willwood on. And so a different rotor, different pad. And then for those of you with the trained eye, you see these wheel studs. 
ARP wheel studs, so they're hardened wheel studs, much stronger. Other things you don't necessarily see in this car are the half shafts, okay? You need one half shaft if you got a car with, you know, only 500 horsepower. You like that, guys? Only 500 horsepower? So obviously we need more. So these half shafts are rated at 1,500 horsepower, which gives you plenty of room up and above the 830, did we say uh, Rob, plus horsepower, right? So let's just say we're being conservative at the 830. But these wheel studs, they'll help with that, so will the half shafts, okay? So there's other things that are very critically important too. So let's go back to the back of the car. Very aggressive rear wing, uh, unique to the coupe. Uh, if you want to see the convertible version of this car, we do have the blue convertible version over at the Shelby Semi, over there close to Ford, right? So that one doesn't have the big wing, but it's got this ductile spoiler that we also designed, okay? So it's got that. We got this rear diffuser, carbon fiber, but it's, it's also very functional. So the wing, the ductile spoiler, the rear diffuser also keep the back end on the ground. So now you got the front end planted, you got the rear end planted, you got a lot more grip on all four tires. So that helps you guys when you get to high speed and you're trying to go around those corners. Anybody like a sound of a car? We're going to look at that here in a minute, right? Yeah, some enthusiasm out there. Yeah, sound, all right? Five-inch dual, double dual tips in the exhaust. Really great partnership that we've had for virtually a lifetime with uh, Borla Exhaust, right? So we're going to start this thing in just a minute. But until then, we're going to run, we're going to get under the hood. Cash, why don't you come over here? <clears throat> Cash is going to open the hood. Cash thing is our uh, director of marketing and sales, so it's good. All right, under the hood. Yeah. That's where the action is, right? Okay, you can also get a four, uh, six speed. I said four speed almost, right? Old habits. Anyway, six-speed manual or a 10-speed automatic. The convertible over there is an automatic. This one's a manual. Different flavors, right? Um, this is Rapid Red Metallic. So that's a beautiful Ford color. We continue to go with that. So you got this supercharger. It's a three-liter Whipple with a big intercooler in it. So that gives you repeatable performance time after time. You got a big throttle body that feeds through two air intakes. Air again comes in through here, goes through the air intakes. It feeds that engine. Cooler air, more power. Anybody want more power? You guys awake or what? All right, more power, that's good. Um, adjustable caster camber plates, some Shelby engine caps, uh, much larger cooling system and so forth. So um, really a bad boy. So let's start this thing up, all right? Anybody want to hear this thing run? Yeah! All right. So, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe, the bell notification button. If you're in any new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.